Hello and welcome. I'm Zinder and here we are again. Uh ooh. Oh no 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 I hit me. And as I was saying, back again for more ultra hardcore. Hmm. Oh. See Oh, uh oh. I don't like the looks of open tunnel. But I need this coal. The, anyhow, like I was saying, one of the big issues about not doing, you know, all the recording in one day is uh, you end up with... Interesting. You end up with... Uh, ah, crap. Okay, you, you end up forgetting what is going on. Okay, that's taken care of. Take the iron, but that is all I'm taking. I don't see a chest down that way. Hmm. Whoa! Caused that uh, torch to update itself. It's one of the lingering issues with mine shafts that still hasn't been fixed. The torches in mine shafts do not turn on until you place a torch. Like they're on, they appear on, but they're not actually producing light because the light hasn't been generated for that chunk because it's updated when it's actually, you know, updated, player existence or whatever. And so, yeah, that's a lingering thing. I heard a skeleton. Sounded like he was in the next tunnel over. I see you. Oh, he's dead. After two hits. Oh, right, I did enchant the bow. I completely forgot about that. It was a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. Thirty-seven. A stack. Now, coal never seems to eat quite as far as you think it should. But. That's the fault of the fact that I place torches so very, very often. Uh, we're not going to go this way just yet. That should stop anything from coming through there. And that's a dead end. So, I guess we go back this way and search for more darkness. I guess this counts as darkness. Hmm. I hear lava. That doesn't look like more mine shaft down there, so that's not really going to help me. that's how I got up here. No. I'm guessing that's how I dug out coal. And 
stop walking around like a retard. Okay. What? Imagining things. Now. I believe there was a spider noise around here somewhere at some point. Okay, there's more mine shaft down there. So I'm going to mark that with a couple of torches. I keep hearing something walking on gravel. Okay. And light update. Oh. Apparently that's the end of that. That is a bit annoying. Oh, by the way, if there's sounds of... Do you hear that burning? If there's sounds on the microphone, possibly like the sound of a fan blowing at it, it's because there is a fan blowing at my face because it's another one of those hot days. Ooh. Left. Not left. Right. Okay. These to the right. That means he's on the other side of that wall. Man, how about that gold, huh? I don't think I've ever seen so much gold so quickly in my entire life. Except that was one piece. Hmm. Chest. <gasps> Finally. Okay. Lock that off. Let's see if I can't remember how I got in here. I should stop trying to remember how I got in here and just trust my instincts. And they say that there is no way I came in up there. Right, I came in through the ravine. Right, the waterfall. There's a chest. I don't want to just dig up again because I'm sick of wasting my diamond pick. Why didn't I light that up? Jeez. Oh, all this darkness. Oh, I so want to look for gold. I should be stopping. I shouldn't be here anymore. Okay. If I'm right. Well, look at that. Hopefully that skeleton's not like doing its super crazy amazing pathing and coming around to me at the moment. Okay. That's lit. Now I just figure out which one of these two tunnels I came in. It definitely couldn't have been this one, because I would have blocked off that water. Why am I still in here? Uh... Do you see that? We're not going anywhere near that.
I have to say, I think that's the longest natural view of one that I've ever gotten. See, I shouldn't be down here, but I'm down here still because I know there can be gold. Nope, not wasting it. I was about to, but then I caught myself. See, I could make an iron pick and just dig my way out, but it better be a lot more interesting if I manage to just find my way out. This is a disaster. There's the ravine. I was going to be very irritated if I opened this chest and looked in it and it was there was melon seeds in it. Cuz I clearly walked past that on the way in. See now, the easiest way out would be to quite literally follow the torches. As soon as I stop doing that. And once again, one of those days where I forget to keep track of the clock. So I'm just going to say 15 minutes from now. Regardless of what it ends up at. Actually, 17, because it'll be easier to actually calculate that way. I keep trying to. I'm sure you see it. Did that really come through all this water? The amount of water I left behind and just walked through it seems to be uncharacteristic of me. Ah, stop it! Okay. Now, okay, here's my spiral staircase. How much gold did I get down there? 25. So, I'm up to 26, which is one gold block and two. I should make two gold blocks, but then I'd be one gold short. Or no, I wouldn't. No, I have enough for one apple and two gold blocks. Crap. <sighs> I wonder if I can find that nether portal. Of course, though, I should be close enough that if I can find a surface lava pool... I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, it'll be about halfway through the day by my accidentally scheduled time, theoretically. Oh, skeletons galore up there. Well, it's going to be a waste of, I think, half a food bar's worth, but... I can live with it. Yes, I'm aware there's a creeper following me. He's friendly. It's alright. Oh, there's two of them now. Hey, chicken.
I don't have the space. I figure I might as well get them. Alright. I can't really see a reason not to. Ooh. See three Endermen off hand. So we're gonna do what I did the one time. Except for I'm not gonna pad it quite so much because I shouldn't need to. Hey you. Okay. That's one. Come on. Come on. That's two. Hmm. Oh, did I get him? See, now that I don't know, I'm just terrified. <sighs> this is why you don't screw with Enderman. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for another surface lava pool, and with any luck, I'll come out through the same portal, and then when I go back out the other way, I should end up near my cat and my wolf. In theory. The plan is to get reunited with Felix, and the wolf that has no name, because we don't like wolves, because they're dogs. Well, actually, wolves are okay. Don't like dogs. But the really weird thing is, is that they start out as wolves, but they become dogs. Really? Dude, you want to try again? <laughs> Seriously, where are all the ender pearls? Still only have one, right? Yeah, I'm going to need a bunch. So I'm going to need enough to find the stronghold, and then I'm going to need enough to activate the end portal, and we're going to be basically, well, I don't really have any specific house or anything. I could do the Enderman farming there, but figure it's night time. I'm not doing a whole lot. Oh, stupid spider. So why not kill some Enderman when I see them, right? Now, the only problem is, is I want a surface lava pool so I can make a new nether portal, but I can't seem to find one, 
And I just realized I'm long past. Well, not long past. No. No, I'm retarded. I'm retarded. There's still another... It, going for at least another four minutes. Put it that way. And just because I'd rather it be too long than too short. Because I'm trying to keep it around 30 minutes. I'm going to put an extra five on that, which is... If you calculate it, the actual amount of time that I had said previously. Or 17 minutes from that time. Wow, who knew surface lava could be so hard to find when you actually need it? Hmm. I don't want to go back down. Now, if I circle back around and end up with that abandoned mine shaft, I will find lava, even if I have to listen and dig through the walls for it. And I will just make a portal down there. Which, I could theoretically skip that. But the last time I skipped the portal making, I ended up lighting myself on fire almost with lava. Or no, I dropped sand on my head. That's what I did. I hate rain. <laughs> Oddly enough, though, it didn't seem as loud as I was expecting. I'm gonna see if I can't score an apple. So I'm gonna make one apple's worth. Or one golden apple, I'm gonna eat it, and then I'm not making any more golden apples. Come on. I don't want my viewers to see me punching trees looking for apples for the rest of this episode. All like three of you. It's okay. I'm, I get plenty of enjoyment out of making these. It's also part of the reason I keep on slacking off my let's play. I'm more into the challenging stuff like this ultra hardcore than I am into the just standard let's play. If you know what I mean? Because I don't know. I really like to have a goal, and stuff like this ultra hardcore allows me to just set one and go for it, which in this case is kill the dragon. Or apparently sit here and punch trees till I get an apple. Not that I have the inventory space for an apple. One in one hundred. Definitely seems to be true. I wonder how many uh, leaves grow on the average tree. Looks like it might be somewhere in the area of like twenty. So theoretically, it would take me somewhere in the area of, like, five to seven trees or something like that in order to find an apple. Poor trees. Turn the particles down, so that way the sound of the rain goes away. I'm going to do that because it is extremely annoying. Look guys, 
more. Listen, guys, no more rain. Fine. Oh, I have an apple. <sighs> you know what? I don't need the apple right this very second, anyhow. I'm going to need some sand. Uh, approximately. Crap, I got so much crap. can't really afford to get rid of any of it either. Hell with it. I'll make new awkward potions later. I need three for the magma cream. Uh, 31's way overkill. No. No. I'm picking up either all three of you or none of you. End of story. Okay, now, let's see if we can't find that tundra biome and figure out where I was. Finding the entrance shouldn't be hard. Wait. Oh, that's why I have my volume cranked up. Safety rails. Can never be too careful. Well, looks like we're getting to about the uh, the time that I had said. So I will make this portal off camera. And yeah, then we'll come back to this portal next time. Oops. Which, I'm going to inset this one more, so I have some walking room. But, uh, I will see you guys next time.